it's Q and A time, baby. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, it is Q and A time. Like I said, in just like two seconds ago, um, I got my phone here with me with the questions that you sent to me on Instagram. I'm gonna reply to them, and uh, we're gonna have fun. We've been digging into a lot of big topics and deep and like. It's just not as much fun to it's important, but it's not as much fun. So let's have a fun video today So the first one is who is your biggest inspiration? Um, Jesus <laughs> no, it's just it's like yes, but also um, I'm sure the person that asked this question probably wanted something a little bit different than that than that um, I don't know. It's interesting because over my life. There's been like certain people that I've like really admired and in kind of like these three-year blocks so when i was like mm, i don't know younger maybe like 12 13 14 it was the guys at the way of the master living waters ministry it's all about evangelism and i just love watching their stuff i watch it all the time like those guys were my inspiration so you can save the lost the way jesus did there's only a certain amount of time left time left time left and then from like 13 to 16 it was those guys at wretched and they talk about evangelism and other kind of christian topics around culture and stuff like that so i was really into them wait a second didn't jesus say to a judge not oh indeed he did but we need to take a look at the entire context of that command here it is. and then you know apologia studios they talk about issues of abortion and cults and stuff like that so here's the thing Mormons often say, but we're Christian too. I mean, why don't you just leave us alone? We're just another denomination. We're, I mean, it's in our name, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Um, now, I don't know. It's kind of like all over the place. Um, my biggest inspiration at the moment is Larry Crabb. If you've ever looked at any of my books on my wall or my shelf, um, you can see that I have a lot of his books and he's a prolific writer. Um, and just like one of my heroes. Okay, next question here. What is your favorite TV series? <laughs> um, this is one of those things where I'm going to kind of not like use discernment and whatever you're watching, obviously. Um, my favorite uh, TV series is The Office. Um, I know there's some stuff in there that's not super appropriate, but you know, I enjoy it and um, yeah, it's fun. Now the next question is, do I play an instrument? And the answer is yes, I do play a mean air guitar. <laughs> um, I'm pretty good at Guitar Hero. I do play a little bit of guitar, but it's not that good. So uh, you might seen, have seen a clip or a couple clips on Instagram of me playing guitar. That's like the only song I know. Um, so not really. Okay, next question here is how many siblings do I have? <laughs> um, this might shock some of you, but I have seven siblings seven siblings and people when I tell them that I remember telling them that as like a kid and they thought I was totally just pulling their leg like I was totally just like saying some random number just to get them to be surprised and all this kind of thing but then after a while I try to convince them no no this is actually true I do have seven siblings these people do actually exist <laughs> um, so it's kind of fun um, yeah we got a big family and um, yeah I, I like most of them <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. It was a joke. What is my favorite movie, Christian or non? Okay, I'll give two different answers for this one. My favorite Christian movie. Oh man, that's tough because sometimes, you know, Christian movies can be very cheesy and they're very, you know, that kind of thing. I think probably my favorite Christian movie is Case for Christ. Um, I think it was the one that was best done. Um, the acting was really good and the story was was good. So I, I really I really enjoyed that one. If somebody wanted to do an investigation into Christianity, where would you start? If the resurrection of Jesus didn't happen, it's a house of cards. Uh, for non, definitely, now this might be a little controversial, and if you know me personally, I've probably said this movie to you because I'm so hyped about it, but Quiet Place, um, it is um, kind of like a wholesome horror movie, and, you know, look it up before you pass judgments on me, because it's, it's not gruesome at all, it's a lot of jump scares, but it's a really um, emotional story, and I really, really enjoyed that film, it really impacted me.
Okay, this next question. I was surprised when I got this one, honestly, but um, it's an it's kind of a weird question. Have you met the person you are going to marry? I, to the person that asked this question, I'm not sure how I would know if I met the person I'm going to marry. Maybe some people are just like, they see it and they're like, that's the person I'm going to marry. Actually, thinking about it now, I think I have heard people's stories like that. Like, I saw her and that moment I knew I was going to marry her. Um, I have not had that experience, so I do not know. I doubt it, but you never know. Favorite artist or band? Um, this is a tough one, but right now it's going to have to be um, Need to Breathe is my favorite band. And otherwise, musically, I'm all over the place. I'm in folk, I'm in um, acoustic, some rock, some pop, some rap. Some, I'm, I'm all over the place in terms of music. Um, not big on a class. I'm not a big classical guy, but you know, I can do my me some Mozart every once in a while Okay, last question for today is what would I tell a younger version of Myself now I made a video about this is what I would tell to myself um, When I was 18 um, That's a that's a bit more deeper of a video this one if I were to just do something You know a little bit more light. I would tell myself when I was younger to chill out like honestly just chill out stop you know caring so much about every little thing you know and just kind of like relax <laughs> and and just trust God because at the end of the day I think I did a lot more stressing when I was 16 15 14 than I needed to well thanks for watching this video guys if you enjoyed this Q&A let me know and we might do it again sometime um, it's kind of a switch up from what we normally do but I hope you enjoyed it and um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed because I don't know why you'd be watching this video and you wouldn't be subscribed because those are natural progressions you watch a video you press the subscribe button you press the bell you tell your friend you start going out in the streets you start saying hey have you watched this YouTube channel have you watched this YouTube channel. Have you watched this YouTube channel? You are my message. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, that was just weird. I'm gonna cut that. Anyway, thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. See ya.